Christian Alliance SCCM Memorial College, History, DSC, 2013, Paper 1, Question 1A. I'm going to talk about how to tackle the to what extent question in database questions. And uh, on the other hand, I will talk about how to tackle modernized question, a very common one in the public exam. So let's read the source first. Source A is a speech of Dr. Sun Sun Yi-sen in 1912 when he stepped down, stepped down from the position of provisional president of the Republic of China. And according to Dr. Sun, he said there were three major principles. As you know, they are the principle of, of nationalism, democracy, and people's livelihood. In Chinese, it's man zhuk, man quan, man san. According to Dr. Sun, he said, the first two principles, nationalism and democracy, have both been achieved. But he said, only the principle of people's livelihood is yet to be dealt with. That means it's not achieved yet. And he mentioned that social revolution is the most difficult one. So social revolution here refers to the uh, revolution in people's livelihood. So you can see Dr. Sun's comment on the modernization of China here is quite positive because he said only one principle is not yet achieved. And the second source is by a leader in a political campaign in 1915. And uh, this is a comment to Yuan Shikai. He comments that Yuan was the evil chief culprit. Culprit uh, means some, someone who, who offended uh, the wrongdoer, who did something bad. And he said Yuan fools the entire nation, the whole country, in his hands. And he's deceitful, mean, meaning dishonest. And he hurts people in the country. And he's willing to sacrifice the people, to give up the people's interests. And anyway, He's such an evil person, and most importantly, he tried to, here, attempts to make himself monarch due to his ambitions, meaning that he tried to um, set up a monarchy, becoming the king of China. Okay, so let's read the question. The question here said, to what extent could China be regarded as a modernized country in this period by using the sources and your own knowledge. Firstly, you should mind that when you see to what extent, you should be reminded that you should make a comparison. In this question, you should compare modernized and on the other hand, not modernized. So here are the basic steps. Firstly, you may talk about the hints of modernized from source A. And with your own knowledge, K means own knowledge. And secondly, you can talk about how sources A and B show China was not modernized. And on the other hand, use own knowledge to show that China was not modernized yet. And the final step here, one mark for this paragraph. You need to give an OJ, an overall judgment, making comparison on modernized and not modernized. I will give you some samples. You will understand it later. And there are other possible steps you can talk about um, 
modernize in the sources first, in the two sources first, both sources A and B, and then you use your own knowledge here, show how China was not modernized. And at the same time, by the end, you give an OJ. So listen, the most important point here, you should avoid to give one side argument. That means you should not talk about how China was modernized only or how China was not modernized only. That is one side discussion. If you make this mistake, maximum score is 4, no matter how long and how accurate your answer is. You got four marks only. So mind this mistake. And the second mistake is here. Students did not mention source or own knowledge. I mean they did not distinguish them clearly and did not tell markers that they can separate source and own knowledge clearly. So bear in mind, before you copy something from the source, according to write this, according to source, and then state, and then copy what uh, you discover from the source. And if you want to use your own knowledge, remember to write this, as I know. And make sure that you do not mix up source and own knowledge in the paragraph. I mean separate them, put them into two separate paragraphs. If you make this mistake, the maximum score will be 4 again. And uh, the mark distribution here, you may get uh, 3 marks for knowledge, K, or 4 marks for source or the other way around, 3 marks for source or 4 marks for own knowledge. And pay attention, if you did not give OJ a comparison by the end of your answer, one mark will be deducted. And the second common mistake is here. Students only cite the clues without relating the clues to modernized in the question. I call it RQ, okay, relates to question RQ. They only copy something from the source talking about how China uh, was modern but did not state clearly this word modernized by the end of each paragraph. Pay attention, you should give RQ by the end of each paragraph. Uh, so what is the meaning of modernization? Here is copy from the notes. Uh, in economic aspect, uh, modern industries developed. In political aspect, a political political system was set up with a multi-party rule. And in social aspect, three way of thinking was promoted. And uh, you may also mention diplomatic aspect. diplomatic aspect in which the sovereignty of the country was protected and uh, a country gained equal status equal status with the other countries that is the meaning of and the definition of diplomatic modernization you don't need to copy all of these details to your answer, but at least sometimes you should um, insert this definition in your RQ to prove that uh, China was modernized or not modernized. So let's take a look on this full mark sample here. This student got full mark and he said according to source A, two principles, nationalism and democracy were achieved and only the principle of livelihood is yet to be dealt with. Um, my comment here is do not quote, do not make quotation here. Actually it's not necessary. Just paraphrase um, will be enough. And another strength of these students you see each source he gives at least 
six nines of elaboration. Here, source B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, he give enough elaboration to each source. And most important thing here, RQ. By the end of each paragraph, he successfully relates the sources here to the definition of modernization. He mentioned that the livelihood of people is still poor and therefore social modernization. According to the definition of social modernization, uh, people would gain good living standard. But uh, on the other hand, here he said the livelihood of the people were still poor and therefore social modernization was not achieved yet. And according to source B, he said uh, Yuan Shikai attempts to make himself monarch. Uh, he's clever. He did not change too much wordings from the source and did not copy too much. And he said uh, Yuan sacrificed 400 million people and paid price for the whole nations. And it means that he tried to restore the monarchy. And therefore, the political system became less democratic. So he successfully relates the source to the definition of political modernization, that is democracy. Okay. And therefore, political modernization could not be achieved. This is our cue. So he remember every time to relate the source to the definition of modernization. And therefore, he gained full mark for this part. So he further gives his argument by his own knowledge with counter argument showing that China was not modernized because of political instability. Uh, this is our cue. He mentioned that the political instability hindered China's political modernization. And this is our cue. And he further gives positive argument showing China was culturally modernized because of the May 4th movement. Uh, I think his arguments are actually quite simple. Uh, I mean, his uh, knowledge is not very comprehensive, but still the markers, I think the markers appreciate his RQ and the full mark was given. And finally, he gave an OJ comparing the success and failure, he argued that political and social modernization could not be achieved and only the cultural modernization was achieved to some extent, but it was only a starting point and therefore China was modernized to a small extent. So you see his argument in the OJ is very simple. He just said that uh, in two aspects, in political and social aspects, modernizations failed, while in cultural aspects, it was achieved in a starting point. So this is the way of giving our cue, sorry, giving OJ in the in the database question is very simple. Three or four lines will be enough. And finally, one more point to remind you, because he gave. So the last point to remind you is that, uh, four marks, were given to the sources because, um, to the previous page you can see his elaboration on the sources are very detailed and three marks were given for the own knowledge and one mark was included here. So let's read another sample quickly. These students got four marks only in this sample. Uh, 
he got this low mark because he only copy one line of the source uh, showing that uh, the people's principle of people's livelihood had not yet been achieved and he jumped to the conclusion with his own words this is his own words okay he said uh, people could not enjoy high living standard but he did not give an RQ here showing that um, the social modernization was not yet achieved uh, he did not give our cue and then uh, he further with his own knowledge uh, as I mentioned do not mix up do not mix up the source with their own knowledge in the paragraph do not do it separates them and he said uh, Yuan, Yuan Shikai died uh, China entered a period of warlord and heavy taxes were levied and therefore people's livelihood was poor then was China modernized he should said uh, in this way the social modernization was not yet achieved uh, social modernization was not yet achieved he should add this RQ and similarly his um, discussion on the source here source B is very short uh, showing that Yan want to make him an emperor to restore monarchy uh, if you look back to the source actually he he's not copying the source he tried to use his own words he said damage the republic system he used too many own knowledge in this part he mixed up the source and the own knowledge and therefore he failed afterwards he further used his own knowledge uh, showing that uh, China entered a warlord period entered a period of no central government but no RQ was given he should say that uh, China was not modernized in political aspects because China was in a political instability okay political instability he did not give our cue and um, so here he further made repeat his mistake of our cue he said uh, China was modernized in certain ways modernized in certain ways because the Qing dynasty was ended and a republic was set up in China so what does it mean was China was modernized he did not mention our Q was missing he should further elaborate that China was modernized because a more democratic system political system was set up if he could make this conclusion he could gain marks but he didn't and finally one more mistake is that OJ OJ was missing and another big problem is that he gave a lot of arguments you see on this page you can see there are four arguments one two three four but none of them were elaborated none of them uh, was given the RQ and therefore a very low mark uh, if you compare with the previous sample it was very detailed but it gained a low mark only 4 was given